the smoke was getting a lot more thicker, a, a lot denser, and a lot nearer. And then almost instantly, you saw the fire on the right hand side of the car. Um, and within 10, 15 seconds at the most, the wind that the fire created, it leapt across to the other side. And within 30 seconds, it was sort of to the right, to the left, to the back of the car. You had no option but to keep driving into the fire. By now, it's completely dark. I mean, it must have been around 6.30, quarter to 7, but it was so, so black. And I remember getting out of the car and speaking to a girl in front of me and saying, I know you're scared, but where do we go? And she basically turned to me and said, there is nowhere to go. This is the end. And I, 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 I honestly, I can't explain how that makes you feel. Um, we parked the car up um, on one of the roads. And it was at that point um, I got out of the car. Why? I don't know. And there was a man um, basically dousing his house with water and, and he beckoned to come inside. And between him and his mother, they took in 10 or so people and basically saved our lives. We would all be dead without their generosity last night. The fire, you could hear the roar of the, the fire coming. The, the power went off almost a couple of minutes after going in. Uh, one thing you did notice was the smoke. As the fire came through the village, you could see the embers. It, it sounds dramatic, but I describe it as a fiery tornado because that is all you could see from the window, just these fast-moving plumes of fire. And we were on the ground, we were crying, we, we were breathing through our T-shirts, and we just sat and waited to die. Uh, next to his house, uh, there was a ruin. The ruin set on fire, and basically the ruin and the ruin alone stopped the fire from going any further. By the time it had gone through the village and carried on down the hill, um, his house was absolutely fine, apart from a little bit of melted guttering. The car, unbelievably, because it was parked by the wall, is fine. It's burnt, the paint looked a lot better, but the car still drove. One of the people in our group, after two or so hours, when we started to see the sky again through the smoke, decided to drive back down onto the, the IC8, which is the, the main road where most people have unfortunately perished. And he came back up and said the road was clear. If we went in convoy, we'd probably be fine. We did go in convoy, and it's only then that you saw the destroyed homes, you saw the um, concrete um, pylons for the electricity that exploded in the heat. You, you just saw bombiros, sorry, fire engines around the road. It was complete. It was. It, it's a cliche, but it was complete devastation. It was like a hell on earth.